Hi guys and welcome to Usitility. Do you know what? We are going to discover how to launch and play Moonlight Sculptor on your PC. Here you are able to watch it on your screen. We will be able to efficiently download and set up Moonlight Sculptor so that we can play this game on a Windows computer with keyboard, mouse and large monitor. So it's time to have fun. Let's go. Before anything else my friends, the first thing to do is to open our favorite browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's continue. Going to this URL I have highlighted in green. Now, you are able to discover on the PC screen. You don't need to type this URL, simply because there's the link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. We ended up on this page on our own site of Usitility, exactly where we include an in-depth overview on how to obtain Moonlight Sculptor on personal computer. We search lower a tad and then click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we reach the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to run to enjoy the game Moonlight Sculptor on PC. As you can see from here we have a great deal of advantages of preferring this emulator. So we are on the way to start downloading the Moonlight Sculptor by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. The step is clicking on it. Of course, the download step takes no time at all. Voila! This is the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to run the executable file, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the laptop or device. We answered yes. I minimized the web browser to start to see the installation software significantly better. The installation software is straightforward. It is made up of a couple of choices. Install, and Setup Path. I will talk about what Setup Path actually does. We merely click it. And so we discover that we display here the path where the emulator is going to be placed. If we have to vary this directory we have to click on that Browse button. And therefore we select another folder and set up the emulator specifically where we wish. To keep it simple, just keep it as it is. I simply click on Back. And therefore I just click on Install. Great. The install commences and it is going to move forward along with the download of all these MB that are presented on this screen. As you download it, it is likely to be more or less MB. The download rate could go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, based on your internet and according to the velocity of the emulator hosting servers. Immediately they are working superbly fast. The download is completed, so instantly it continues on with the setup part. The setup needs more or less time according to the strength of your PC. The more robust it really is, the faster the software installation time and or vice versa. If we put together the download and install step it will take quite a while, so be patient. It is already completely finished for me. At this time, the emulator has actually been started successfully. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar which will fill up then when it comes to the ending the emulator will be launched for the first time. Believe it or not the emulator is already started, there for the first time. Before we continue on, as can be seen, it created a couple of software icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is the one we're interested in. Each time we are planning to launch Moonlight Sculptor on the laptop or computer, we twice click this specific software icon and as a result launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance app icon isn't related to multiplayer or anything at all such as that. Basically, it is an app icon that we might probably never ever make use of. Let me make the next phase, which is actually a requirement, and which is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. As can be seen the Google Play is presented. In this case we are required to sign in. Currently the moment we're on this page, we have to perform this next phase which is compulsory. So that we click on, sign in. At present it announces, checking info. It might once in a while get blocked in, checking info, additionally it fails to proceed. In that case, you should attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it may most probably be corrected. At present we shall type our login name and password. The email is required to be a Gmail email and its related password. As an example you can use the very same email you use currently in your own YouTube account. Thus I am going to type my info and I will come back after I have done it. Voila! Information typed. Discover Google welcoming us and providing us their tools. We would accept all of them by simply clicking on, I agree. 
Then, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also let it selected and this will make a backup of the data files on this device to Google Drive. I won't select it. You can utilize this feature if you prefer. We mouse click on accept. The Google Play Store is started without need to open it manually and completely on its own. To set up the video game, we are required to browse the emulator desktop by left clicking the icon designated in green. At this point that we are exploring the desktop of that emulator for Android, we observe that we have now there the install app button. We mouse click on this button. On this page we access to the Android game. Let's press right here on the install choice that I am just highlighting now in green. This action will initiate the software setup. Straight away it should install the game app. It might take a little while or perhaps it may be very quick. This all is determined on the internet access. It's as of now completed setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking the following option that I'm showing in green, that allows you to start Moonlight Sculptor for the first time. We should press on this My Games Choice proceeding. I am presently on the emulator desktop, and then we are about to click the fresh Moonlight Sculptor icon which has been provided. That Android game is started for the first time. Now there we get it. I can also mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to talk about the sound level of that emulator. It's right here. We use the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This way we are not going to count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And also to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we will switch on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This one is simply the very first one. We mouse click on this particular software icon which I'm pointing out in green. Thus the display screen is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. If ever we like to launch the application in full screen, we press on that application icon. And as a result we would probably without a doubt be experiencing and enjoying the game app in 100% screen function. To escape the full screen setting, hit the F11 key. And we just play in regular display setting. At this point, I am ready to clarify you the computer keys mapping that is definitely rather useful. This means we will probably be able to make use of the video game a lot more effortlessly. The first point is to click this application icon. It's now time to complete the recommended configuration settings. Let me let the normal configuration. However if you require to change that, you can also do so with no problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. Once in a while it happens that your emulator is presented in the improper language, for example, in Chinese language. And so to set it up in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. So right here throughout many other options, we mouse click on the language drop down. We may very well go for the language we want, Spanish, Mandarin, etc. After the language is selected, we could save, the emulator will reboot, and also the game app, next time we start it, would also be in the specified language. Right now, you will find another point that we have to take into account, and it's that we will get an email saying that a brand new equipment has been connected to our own Google account. It should question us if we're the individuals who have associated with that device. Absolutely, we ought not get worried, because the emulator is acting as an Android tablet or smartphone. And in order to identify which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we return right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Be sure you browse here to the, model, selection. And now we notice that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for my video user demo. I anticipate you enjoyed it, especially that everyone found it handy. If that's so, give it a nice like, subscribe to our channel, and any feedback, issues or suggestions, let them in the comment field below. You can also comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams ever so often, you have it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Simply click any of the videos that are showing up on the computer screen and see you in the future video tutorials. Bye.